Hey, Coach. Uh, how, how did you feel about the team's effort tonight? Because it looked like they really did give everything. And to repeat your question, Justin, couldn't hear you. Uh, Coach, how did you feel about the team's effort tonight? It looked like they were really trying hard out there to kind of come away with this. Uh, yeah, we never thought like that. But like you said, you know, the guys competed, played hard. Um, you know, they're a good team and they beat us. You know, um, I didn't think we necessarily beat ourselves, but the room, you know, the margin for error was very slim, and we understood that going to the game. But like I said, our guys competed, they played hard. We had a couple comebacks, and they answered them with every big shot. So, um, tip your caps to those guys. They played hard. I mean, they played well. Like I said, we competed. We just we just didn't uh, we didn't do enough tonight. Let's go over to Miriam. And uh, are so hot. And then now were they getting the same kind of shots that you like? I thought Marcus was kind of, you know, a little harder. I thought they started tilting on his post ups, um, started bringing the extra guy defender when he had the ISOs, but um, you know, he's he scoring the ball the way he was. Um, you know, they were trying to make it tough on him. Luke, I still thought he had some good shots. Um, he just didn't make so. Um, you know, it happens, you know, <laughs> he's not going to be able to make every shot every game. We understand that, but just keep taking the shots. And um, he did that. And um, like I said, those guys play well tonight. Um, they deserve to win. Uh, uh, with Eric, uh, it looks like he just had an extra year tonight uh, playing in that second unit. Uh, how do you feel like uh, just he was able to have success um, given the circumstances with the game? Um, he shot the ball well. Um, they tried to go under. Um, you know, they lead him a couple times. He made four threes, four out of five. And I just thought his pace was really good, you know, especially in transition, um, getting up the floor, you know, attacking the basket. You know, and our two point guards, you know, have a 17 assists. So um, that was huge for us. And like I said, his pace has been really good for us all season. But like, like I said, tonight, I thought he had an extra hit. Coach, you thought create some separation in the third quarter and then finished really strong. What do you feel like attributed to Ross tonight? Um, they got stops. They were, they were able to get out of transition, get some easy ones. Um, I thought defensively um, in that third quarter, we wasn't, we wasn't as sharp as they were. I mean, they had 60 some points in the first half, but I just thought we wasn't as sharp in that third quarter. And um, we wasn't scoring, we wasn't getting stops. So they were able to take advantage of that early. Then we kind of caught up, you know, down the stretch of the third. Yeah, and Donovan Mitchell kind of came to life during the second half. What do you feel like permitted him to do so? Um, probably me. Um, didn't blitz him soon enough. Um, he had already got a rhythm, but I thought, you know, with those shooters, if we can just play a two on two, like we did in the first half, we'll be fine. But like I say, he's a great player. He took over the game, and um, we should have, you know, I should have put the blitz on him a little sooner, but um, that's what he does. And so he played well and brought him home. Uh, I almost feel bad because I, I remember Saturday you had in practice, and I mentioned the team is doing a great job defending without Fallon. And it really hasn't been the case uh, pretty much since that practice. Like, is that a concern of, of yours, or how do you feel like uh, the team is defending in terms of what, like, just the foul aspect? Been of it? They've been defending well. Pete, like I said, uh, this is the number one offensive team in the league, and um, we understood that going into it. And um, they make plays. They run good stuff. Quinn does a good job of running good stuff. They run it with pace, and then they know where their space is going to be and where the guys are going to be at. So. Um, you know, coming to tonight's game, we didn't have a lot of room for error. We understood that, and I thought we made some mistakes defensively, and they, they made us pay for it. I guess well, with Reggie under a minute's limit, he just looked like he's been laboring the last game. Yeah, I think he got, he got deep and quiet last game. And he, hit the floor and, um, he tried to play through it, and he was he went through the whole game, but he wanted to play. Um, so, you know, he had a cut of this, and he was um, they, they made me a great job. Uh, you guys. Struggle to transition all year. Zion, I think the first transition point came like three minutes. Were, were they doing something to keep those run outs? Oh, we didn't have a lot of opportunities. I, I didn't think um, transition, but they were scoring, you know, a lot. And um, so it, it made it hard for us to get out of transition. But we knew, like, in the playoffs and playing them last year, if we would get stops on our base from on the floor, then, you know, that would make Rudy have to try to, you know, get out the, to the perimeter, which he doesn't do a very good job of. But we didn't have those opportunities tonight. And so, like I said, they were scoring the basketball. When they didn't score, they got to the free throw line. They kind of slowed the game down for us offense. Now, for a game like this, um, honestly, some people will announce that it's like a playoff rematch. But for you, you're coaching this team. You're in this part of the season. 
Like, what do you take away from a game like this where you are under bed and you're just trying to get, you know, from station to station, even if it's against a team like the Jets? Yeah, I thought, for, you know, like I said, 32 minutes, you know, we played, you know, some, some pretty good basketball. Unfortunately, the game's 48 minutes, but we did some good things, like I said, under man and missed a lot of scoring, you know, on the floor. And, um, but I thought our guys, like I said, played hard, competed, we just didn't. Uh, we just didn't have enough offense for you know, making shots and, and doing the right thing. So, like I said, hats off to those guys. They play well. Um, is this the kind of team, this jazz team, where how they then score, where you almost have to look at it like if you're going to beat them, you have to outscore them. Like out school, like you have to put up a high high number of points. You can't play like you did like Monday night against the Sun team, where it's like you can defend and do it that way. Yeah, for now. <laughs> you know, regular season, you know, it's, it's 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 tough, you know, to make it, you know, make adjustments and do different things on the fly. But like I said, they've always been, you know, they've been what number one in the West the last couple of years, and now they're number one offensive team in the league in a lot of statistical categories. So you know, they they play well. If you don't have time to adjust and understand how they play and what they're doing, then they you know they they're gonna play well. You know, so we understood that, and they're a tough team to play, especially here in the so, yeah, they can't offense. Where you get at the point, Nico, test it back, go shoot around. What about Paul Pat? Just take a test it Friday practice, see how it goes. Yeah, you know, test it Friday, Nico's going to do the same thing. And just, you know, see if they can go. Not, you know, just got to, you know, continue to keep doing what we're doing. You know, just try to continue, you know, keep, keep building good habits. It's only one loss. Like, you know, we've had a good team. We got beat. We got to have to. So we just got to, you know, we're not the last game and just continue to keep getting better. So that's all we do. Thanks, Zach. Thanks, Zach.